We think of Rockpile as almost being a double-edged sword. You know, the consumer awareness of Rockpile is very minimal. Um, the Sonoma County Wine Grape Commission has done a lot of surveys of core wine consumers and done unaided awareness, and I think it's at like 6% awareness of Rockpile. So it's very minimal. And while on the surface that doesn't bode very well, the reality is, is Rockpile is tiny. There's 180 acres planted in Rockpile. It is certainly the most sought after fruit in Sonoma County and arguably California. When you look at county average prices in Sonoma and you compare those against the prices for fruit in Rockpile, they're sometimes as much as 50 to 100 percent higher. And the demand for Rockpile is almost insatiable. So I think what is happening is the consumers in the know and the industry people on in the know certainly clamor for rock pile and, and very well deserved. You know, the fruit is amazing, the resulting wines are phenomenal and very specific. But there's always more room for awareness and the challenge is is when you have such a limited, you know, grape growing region, how do you get it out there when all of the wine is being gobbled up by direct to consumer sales? And that's a, a challenge that, that the Appalachian um, Association faces. We just held our first ever Rock Pile Grape Growers Association trade and media tasting in the Bay Area last week. And it was very well attended and we did a 10 year retrospective of Zinfandels, which is almost unheard of. And the Zins 10 years old were phenomenal. So it's an interesting quandary in Rock Pile. We feel very blessed to have, you know, over well, close to half of the fruit planted in the Appalachian. My family farms um, were the largest vineyard owners in the Appalachian. It's very near and dear to our hearts because we've owned and farmed that piece of property for six generations. And, you know, it's something that, that is very special to us. And while it is a, a, sec a separate label, it doesn't carry the same, you know, physical description or attributes that our Mortson label does, we don't think of it as a, a second label at all. It's really our single vineyard label. And there's just uh, six generations of pride and grape growing and farming from that piece of property. So we really wanted it to stand on its own. And we know that stylistically there's nothing like Rockpile. So it definitely, you know, holds its own.